hi everyone this is my fire signs video I'm gonna be looking at Aries Leo and Sagittarius I'm going to look at the next couple weeks regarding um, soulmate and twin flame relationships particularly um, love sometimes work comes into it as well just whatever comes up so I'm going to see what's going on in your love lives and there are any um, changes to your love lives that are coming up from now until the end of May. So let's start with let's start with my sign, which is Aries. Fire signs, Aries. For my Aries viewers, what do they what do the Aries viewers need to know about their love lives over the next couple weeks? What's what's coming in regarding love? What changes are occurring regarding love over the next couple weeks? Changes are occurring regarding love. What can you show me regarding romantic love? soulmate and twin flame relationships for my Aries viewers over the next couple weeks. Six of Pentacles, the world. So sword, eight of swords, seven of cups, and five of swords. And we have the death card here, which again isn't actually like a physical death, it's just a change. Which is good because it's it's right after the Son of Swords, or right after the Five of Swords, which is all about, um, you know, cheating, bit betrayal, backstabbing, um, fake friends, fake, um, just bad relationships, that kind of thing. So it's good that the Death card is right over there. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles after that. I'm actually drawn to... to with these other three cards we have the empress the queen of swords and the fool as well usually i don't do this many cards but this is what i'm feeling led to do so i guess i'm just gonna have to just try to hurry with it so i'm being led i mean i know that there's different groups that watch this and so i'm being led to to read these two cards in two different ways for some of you i feel like this could be love and this could also be work career for some of you, I just feel like you maybe were spending more money than you were bringing in, um, or maybe you were giving more to a relationship than you were receiving in return. You know, maybe this person wasn't really talking to you much, and you just you kept putting yourself out there. You know, the Six of Pentacles is it's about um, wealth and generosity and and balance and abundance, but it's it's also about giving. You know, this person has a lot, and they they um. You know, it's like this energy exchange. They 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 give what they have, but you know, this could be someone that um, was giving money or time or energy or love to someone who just wasn't giving it back. Someone who wasn't, um, you know, it, there were just was not an equal energy exchange here. And with this world card, you you learned a lesson. So so you did complete something. You did realize that you need to to cut out this this situation or this person and. Um, and move on from it for others I feel like let me see this let me put these right here so you can see them more clearly for others I feel like you put a lot of time and energy and effort into um For others, I feel like you put a lot of, of time and energy and and effort into something and, you know, it did pay off in the end. This could be school or work or some sort of situation and 
you know, with this with this world card coming up, you this is like probably energy within the next week, I would say. Um, you know, you have this accomplishment where, you know, if you've been thinking about making a career change or a, um, you know, applying to new jobs or or maybe you're, um, I don't want to say, I'm mean, probably not graduating around this time, but, but something of that sort where it, it's like you get the certificate or you get the new job or you get the, the new relationship that you've been putting this effort into. So I feel like, I feel for the majority of you, I don't think that's the case. I think, the, think for a lot of you, this was something that you just gave too much to and then you know, there was this completion with the world card coming up here where you just kind of learned a lesson from that. You're like, okay, I can't, I can't do this anymore. But it's, it's, you know, see, look at her. She's, she's got this owl in her hand. She's very intuitive. She's very powerful. She's very grounded and centered. And that's, that's you this week. So it, it's, it's a good thing. You know what I mean? Like you, whatever, whatever this is, whether this was a lesson that you learned and you realized you're just giving too much to people who aren't giving enough back and you decide to stop doing it and move on. I feel like you're going to feel good about it. You're not going to feel, it's not going to be like a horrible, painful thing. You're going to, you're going to feel like it's, it's time for this, um, rebirth. It's, it's time for this movement. It's, it's time to, to get into this energy. And then for, for others of you that were just, you know, giving, giving a lot of time and intention to this, to this relationship or this, um, this new job or career, you know, applying at new jobs or that kind of thing. I feel like this is, this is an accomplishment where it's like, it was worth it in the end. But so either you learned a lesson from this and you're not going to do this again, or this was something that was worth putting the time and energy into and, and you accomplished something out of it. Either way, you're going to be feeling pretty good about it um, over the next week, whatever this this huge shift is, this this energy shift, this change, you're going to feel really good about it. Um, I noticed her, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's the moon behind her too. So So you might be very connected to the moon and you might be supported by um, the energies of the moon right now as well. And you see her crown chakra is opening right here. You have this little, this light. I'm not sure if you can see that quite well, but but there's this light coming out of her crown chakra. And I feel like it's also connected to the moon. I do feel like you're going to be letting go of something that was really weighing heavily on you. Let me just adjust this really quick so that you guys can see this better. I do feel like you're going to be letting go of something that was weighing heavily on you. And the Eight of Swords right here, the Eight of Swords is all about, um, you know, it's this woman that just wants to sleep. She just kind of doesn't want to deal with it anymore. She kind of doesn't want to look around and see what's what's going on around her. But, but the Eight of Swords, I feel like it brings a message of hope because this woman is creating her own prison. She's... You know, she's she's trying to escape. She's trying to she's getting lost in in dreaming and and wishful thinking and um just just trying to escape. But the thing is, she's a prisoner of herself. She's she's doing this to herself. It's her own guilt and shame, her own thoughts. It's you know, she's blinding herself to to both the good and the bad things around her. You know what I mean? It's it's not just the bad things that she's that she's you know, blinding herself to it's, it's, she's not seeing the good in things either. She's not seeing, you know, the potential and the possibilities are around her because she's just too, too lost in her head. But I feel like this, this message always, I mean, I know it's, it's not the best card, but to me, there's always a message of, of hope with this one, because, you know, the eight of swords tells you that, that whatever situation you're in, whether it's a job or whether it's, it's love, there's just, um, you have a way out, you know, the Eight of Swords, the traditional Eight of Swords is this woman that's, you know, she's surrounded by swords, but there's an opening right in front of her and she can just walk out at any time. But she's just so distracted by these other swords that are surrounding her that she can't see that there's an opening right in front of her face. Um, so this is this is your own inner prison. This is, you know, you need to see things from a new perspective. You need to look at the higher picture. Um you know, you're, you're victimizing yourself. You feel useless and powerless and you just, you want to escape it all, but you really are a lot more powerful than you realize. And there is 
a way out. But I, I don't think that you're heavily in this energy, though. I think that this is what the Eight of Swords traditionally means, but I don't feel like you're heavily in this energy. Um, I feel like you're just... I feel like you were in this energy, and this is what you've you've come out of with the Six of Pentacles and the world. Or I feel like you're you're sort of, I mean, you kind of go back and forth a little bit between being in this energy and being empowered a little bit. But I, I don't feel like you're very heavily in this energy. I think this is something that you've you've been transitioning out of. You've you've started seeing things from a higher perspective. You started realizing that you have options. Um and with the with the seven of cups here too, it's the Southern of Cups is, I mean, we, we have the moon again, too. So I think that there's, I think you're really connected to the moon right now. I think that there's just a lot going on with the um, the moon phases as well. There's a, what is it? There's a, oh, there's a full moon coming up. That's going to be kind of, going to be a little chaotic, but not, I mean, there's just, there's a lot of um, change happening right now in the astral realm telepathically. There's just... There are a lot of huge energy shifts, and, and so I think that these energy shifts are really affecting you. And I think it's kind of interesting that we have the world here in the Sun of Cups, and there's, there's you know, this, this full moon on both these cards, and it's kind of like you're... you're you're getting into this energy instead of instead of staying stuck in this energy, if that makes any sense. And the Southern of Cups, too, right after the Eight of Swords is a really great sign because the Southern of Cups, it's, I mean, it's dreams and illusionation, sorry, illusions and imagination, but I guess I wanted to say hallucination. I don't know why I wanted to say that. Um, I don't know if some of you are going through an awakening process where you might be um, picking up on spirits more than you usually do. I just saw 1212 on the screen as well, so that could be relevant for some of you that are, um, you know, opening your third eye and you're opening your crown chakras here. So it makes sense you're going to have a lot of psychic downloads coming in at this time. Um, I think during the full moon, too, I think that's going to be a really powerful time for you. And I think this is kind of a warning, like, don't get stuck in this energy during the full moon, too. Stay in this, this world, this Seven of Cups energy that you're in right now. Um, so this is this is dreams. This is imagination. But but it's it's also it, it's also it kind of tells you not to not to get stuck in your head. Don't get stuck dreaming. You know, go out and make the things you want happen. Go out and make your life happen. Don't just fantasize or dream. Whether it's the negative or positive side of it. Whether it's you know getting lost in your head and stuck in depression and overthinking things and overanalyzing, or whether it's you know dreaming and fantasizing and just hoping. And praying for the best, whatever it is, it's saying, you know, don't get stuck in that energy. You want to, you want to go out and, and make things happen for yourself. Um, you know, you, you need to, to balance your, your dreams with, with physical world, um, action and reality. And this is, this is making a choice as well, you know, with this Eight of Swords energy. It's, it's like this person, they have a choice and they're realizing that, you know what I mean? It's like you were stuck in this, this feeling like a victim and then you're, now you're kind of realizing like, oh wait, I do have options. There is, you know, whether this is like an old partner, you're like, oh wait, I do have options. There are other people I could date or there's another way I could communicate with this partner or there's, we could go to couples counseling or I could meet someone new or I could... Um, or I could do this, or if you're in a, in a bad living situation, it's it's like you could, you know, you start realizing it's like you have options. Some of them might be harder than others, but but you do have options. And with the Seven of Cups, you're going to be really contemplating those different options you have when it comes to love, to career. I think you're just going to be making a lot of life changes. You're kind of at a crossroads right now where you're going to be making some pretty um, heavy decisions, and there's going to be a lot of psychic downloads, a lot of um, downloads coming from your, your I want to say your your third eye chakra, your throat chakra, and your crown chakra. I feel like the um, the upper chakras are going to be doing a lot for you over the next couple weeks. You really want to focus on those. Um, you do want to clear your root chakra at all times too because you want to um, make sure you're grounded and make sure you're able to manifest things in the physical world too, you know, because this is someone who's probably had a hard time manifesting their dreams in the physical world, but they're finally starting to realize that they're 
They're not a victim. They need to see from a, from a higher perspective. There is a way out. Um, for some, it's going to be more complicated than others, but there there is there are options. And and so with this with this full moon, full moon energy, there are just a lot of downloads, a lot of energy shifts, a lot of really intense, passionate energy. Um, I feel like you were on a roller coaster for a long time, but I feel like you're finally starting to get off that roller coaster. Um, even though the energy is is heavy and it's still there's still a lot of energy shifts, I feel like you're you're getting on board with it a little bit more than you were before. And with the seven of cups, I mean, it, you're making these decisions now. You're making these life decisions. You're you're deciding what you want your life to be. You're deciding what you want your love life to be. You're 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 realizing that you have a way out. You're realizing that you're not trapped as you thought you were. You're realizing that you you have some options. And then we have let's see. There's just like a long story that wanted to be t wanted to be tell told here, basically. <laughs> With the five of swords and death, I think that's a really, really, um, it's a really good sign. It's it, I take this as a really good sign. So the five of swords is it's all about. I mean, look at her, look at her, look at her appearance. Look at her face. Look at how guarded she is. She's got this, this like, it looks like a dagger in her hand. She's ready to fight. She's ready to, whether this is enemies, backstabbers, gossipers, um, gossipers. This could be, you know, a relationship where you just couldn't really be yourself and you kind of had to be on edge or you just, you had to keep your guard up and you just weren't quite sure about things. It's just, there's some sort of, hostility, um, betrayal, conflict, maybe someone cheating, just some sort of aggressiveness, something where you kind of had to be on edge. It could just be a situation that was that was stressful where maybe not even a person that was betraying you, but maybe just a situation in general where you were just kind of maybe having money problems or having some sort of issue that was just really stressful for you. And so you felt like you couldn't just relax and meditate and open yourself. You felt like you had to be on guard. Your body was tense. You were overthinking things. Um, you were just you, there's just a lot of a lot of um, just this tense energy, but but it it's dying. This tense energy is there's a death to it. It's it's ending. Over. I think this was just a specific message. I think these two cards were meant to go together, and this was a specific message that this this energy, whatever it is that's made your body tense, whether it's a relationship, a job, a situation, stress, just whatever, that it's it's coming to an end over the next couple of weeks. You're you're. You're getting into this this seven of cups energy, and you're 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 realizing you're not a victim, and that life is going to be what you make it, what you make it, and um, and you're going to be make, you're going to be taking responsibility for yourself, and you're going to be making your own choices, and you're going to be going out there, and making things manifest for you in the physical world. You're going to finally start having a balance of your dreams and um, physical world reality. Um, so just get in tune with that energy, you know. And then we have, see, I felt drawn, these were at the other, these were at the bottom of the deck too, and I felt drawn to, to pull these out. The Seven of Pentacles here is, it's, it's hard work. It's, it's seeing things from a higher perspective. It's making your own decisions and it's, it's, Focusing and concentrating, you know, you see all these these swans. These could this could signify a twin flame relationship too. Maybe um maybe working on the shadow self too because they're they're black swans and not white swans. Um, but this is you see this is a ballerina. This is a dancer. This is someone who who just who look at her. She's scratching her back like she worked hard and and bled for everything that she has. But it, it's saying stay focused, you know, concentrate, look at the long term view. Um, don't let yourself get back into that. Don't let yourself get back in this eight of swords energy where you just want to sleep and you just feel like a victim of life. Don't let yourself go back there. Stay in this energy of the seven of pentacles where you're 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 grounding yourself. You're you're finding a balance. You're focusing. You're concentrating on the long term. Um. This is strength, hard work, patience, um, rewards coming in finally. You know, this person has earned everything that they have. This is a long battle that you fought, but you're finally winning this battle. And, you know, as a result of that, we have the Empress. 
So the Empress is a very motherly energy. The Empress is, I mean, you can see her. She's just, look at her. She's relaxed. She's on her throne. This is, this is abundance. This is, this is protection. This is, this is birth, you know. This could be a really good omen for those of you that have been trying to get pregnant. I, I don't want to give you false hope because I, I could be wrong on that. But for, for one or two of you, this this could be a good omen for, for those of you that have been trying to get pregnant. Um, this is this is fertility. This is nature and motherhood. You know, she's just she's relaxed. She's she's in her feminine energy. She's strong. She's powerful. She's um, you know, she's a mother. She's caring, nurturing, loving. She just, she feels and creates abundance in all areas of life. And you're doing this by balancing your dreams with the physical world, with making things happen for you in the physical world. And you're, you're in this queen of swords energy as well towards after, after you do that, you get into this queen of swords energy as well, which, you know, I think, I feel like the queen of swords and the, um, the empress go kind of great together because it, it's like. The Empress, I mean, she's a mother. She's um, she's soft but strong. This is a very, very feminine energy. And, you know, the Queen of Swords is is independent. She's logical. She she has clear judgment. She's um she's she's honest, she's forward, she's sharp, she's sassy, she's she's intelligent, you know. Um she just she uses her head. That's what that's what the swords is about. You know, Queen of Swords is, is about it's someone who uses their head. She's, you know, she's efficient. She's she's just very focused, you know, and she she doesn't get lost in her emotions. And it's it's kind of saying you're balancing this Empress energy with the Queen of Swords energy, where you're um you're empathetic and you're loving, you're strong, you're motherly, you're protective, but you're also um logical and grounded and balanced. And this this energy, this this balance of of heart and mind, of um of soul, heart and mind, you know, the three coming together, this balance leads you to the fool, which is, you know, new projects, new birth, um, new relationships, new love coming in. This is um, you know, see she's out in nature and she's painting. So this is just this is and it's the fool. It's 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 the first card in the major arcana. So this is this is the beginning of something. And this is what that energy leads you to. So this is this is very well possible. This could very possibly be a, a new soulmate coming in. I feel. Let me pull some cards too. In most of my reads lately, lately I'm getting that um. I mean, I've, I've been picking up a lot of energy shifts, but I'm, I'm really feeling like a lot of people are going to be leaving soulmates or sorry, leaving twin flame relationships or leaving um, old karmic relationships and, and going for soulmates. I, I feel like, or for some of you, it's, it's leaving soulmates and going to twin flames. But for a lot of you, I feel like, um, I feel like there's just, there's new soulmates coming in. I feel like a lot of you are just, are transitioning out of old energy and into new love i mean that's that's like a collective energy i keep channeling that in most of my readings you know it it it, it plays out differently for each um astrological sign of course but the collective energy right now is is leaving old energy behind leaving um leaving behind people that were stagnant people that weren't showing up for you people that weren't committing to you people that weren't um you know making time or making any effort for you leaving that behind and and going towards healthier soulmates who are actually going to love you properly and, and want you and put themselves out there for you and match your energy. Um, same for jobs. You know, I notice a lot of people leaving, leaving old nine to five stagnant jobs are getting fired because their guides are pushing them out of that job um, and getting them in alignment with their soul's path. But that is collective energy that I've been channeling the past month or so. And it, it's the timelines vary for everyone. Some of you have already gone through that. Some of you are about to go through that. Um, it, it's going to vary for anyone, for everyone, but, but the key, the key thing to remember here is, is that old stagnant energy and toxic energy is, is being released, pushed out and, and new and, and better, healthier things are coming in. New love, new jobs, new careers, new, um, new skill sets, just, just new energy. What else do my Aries viewers need to know? Four, four, four angels around you right now. 
change and dull it, guys, perhaps. What else do my Aries viewers need to know? Obedience. Summon. Pigment. Rigid. Good. Chaos. Okay, that's not good. High Priestess of Water. Movement. I don't know why I'm pulling so many cards for you guys today. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's how I'm going to take this. You were in a situation where you were just... This is kind of like that, that, that swords energy that we got in the last reading too, where it was just like you're, you're victimizing yourself, not seeing things around you, not balancing things, not, not realizing that you have this sword in your hand. This is like the sort of truth that you can use to cut away illusion, cut away the darkness, you know? But you are just blinding yourself and not realizing that you have this opportunity to balance things. You have this opportunity to take this sword and defeat these these the situation, battles, people, whatever it may be. You you know you have so much strength that you never realized that you had, and you were obedient. Whether it was obedient to your own fears and insecurities and doubts, or obedient to another person that was dragging you down, or family members that were dragging you down or obedient to society's standards, you, you let someone, whether that was you or someone else or another situation, you let someone or something blind you and make you not, and, you know, stop you from realizing that you have the opportunity to balance, you know, emotion and logic, heart and mind. You have an opportunity to balance um, your dreams and the physical world, you know, making things manifest for yourself in the physical world. This this reading is, that keeps coming up in this reading, is is manifesting things Manifesting your dreams in the physical world by, by taking action, you know, and recognizing that you have this sword in your hand that you can use at any time. So, so you were in a situation where you were just too obedient and it, it led you to, to maybe soul loss, to um, perhaps you need soul retrieval. Maybe you've lost a part of yourself to someone or something, to fragment, to not feeling like your full self, not feeling like you're, like you've, you know, feeling like you just haven't, you're not in your full power, feeling like you're just... You know, you've given up some some part of yourself to to someone else or to some situation or to your own insecurities, fears, depression, and there was just this stagnant energy due to it. You know, this 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 rigid part is it's it's like walls, it's it's blocks. You know, but you have the opportunity here to. Well, there's still. I mean, that that's still that caused some some chaos. So, I feel like. I want to I want to look at these cards together too. You see that? Let me let me put these down so you can see these. I want to take these cards together too. Look at the rigid and the chaos card. This is saying you know maybe you've got some walls or maybe this other person has some walls or there's just there's you know as a result of being too obedient, you're um to whatever this this was whatever you were too obedient to. And you, you know, you lost part of yourself or you, you suppressed part of yourself. You weren't in your full power and, and things became rigid, stagnant. Things became, um, they just weren't moving enough. You know, there was these, these walls up and, and chaos is coming to remove these walls. And it, it's a good thing. Don't panic. I feel, I feel like a lot of you panicked probably when I said that. No, it, it's a good thing. It's, it's like, um, it's like a tidal wave coming in and just, you know, just, just dragging out anything, not serving you anymore. Any old toxic relationships, toxic um, situations, you know, doubts, whatever. It's, it's just like a tidal wave or like a like a twister here just coming and, you know, this twister is just going to come in and destroy this wall, destroy the blocks, destroy the, um, the stagnant energy, destroy the things that were holding you back. Um, and, and so it's, 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 a, it's a really good thing. It's, it's like the old energy being taken out. The stagnant energy is just, it's being... Um, it's being uprooted, you know, if, you, if you've hold, held on to the familiar for too long too, sometimes that just happens where it's like you've just been trying to stay in your comfort zone for so long and, you know, your guys just aren't allowing it anymore. They're just, they're coming in with this, this energy of just change, rebirth, renewal, awakening, um, 
they want more for you basically and we have the the high priestess of water here which is i mean this is water is emotions too and this could also be saying like to do um magic rituals involving water like bath rituals um i actually just did one recently so that could be that energy i feel where it's it's like um getting connected to, to water. It could be going hiking to a lake or river nearby if there's one that you've been wanting to go to. Maybe you should go and you should go connect with it. This is um, emotions too. You know, this woman has emotional control. She's in, in, she's in tune with her emotions. She's intuitive. She's, um, water is just flowing. You know what I mean? And it makes sense with this chaos, coo chaos card too is um, you want to summon this, this high priestess of water energy where, where things are just flowing like a river you know what i mean things are just just you're intuitive you're you're aware you're you're seeing the bigger picture you're 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 just letting these emotions flow like a river you're not fighting things you're you're just you're you're letting your emotions flow and um and as a result you know you you could have a man coming in that's going to be to be loyal and strong you know i always see that when i see this oath card i see someone who's who's promising to be different than than other men that you've been with in the past or women that you've been with in the past. This could be for male or female viewers. So so this this person is promising to be different than other men or women that you've been with in the past. Um, could be a friend, but probably remains. I mean, it could be new friends as well, you know, making this vow to, to, to be different and treat you better. But I think it's also, it's primarily probably like a romantic thing. Um, you know, someone making this vow to just be different than what you've what you've um, been used to. Um, this is a very strong, very uh, protective, loyal man. This is a really good person, and they're making this oath to you. You know, this could also be you making this oath to yourself that you're not going to let anyone drag you down again. You're not going to let any any situation like that drag you down again. You're not going to let things be stagnant again. You're going to get in tune with your emotions. You're going to let your emotions flow, and and you're going to get into this intuitive space. And um, so this is you making an oath to yourself and, and people making oaths to you as well to, to do better for you. And then we have a movement and white horse. White horses are always very symbolic to me. You know, this is, this, is a, this is just a great spirit animal to have. And this could be one of your spirit animals as well. Um, it's one of mine and I'm an Aries. And this is, this is movement. This is you're moving forward your... Um, Especially with these oaths, you know, it's like you have some some support, some some good people in your back finally. Some some good people that have your back finally, basically. And and so you're moving forward. Um it's like you're charging ahead and, and good things are coming. Let me see really quick. Let me just see. Regarding love. Regarding love, let me, tell me about the tell me about the movement card. Tell me about the horse card, the movement. What's happening for my Aries viewers regarding love over the next couple weeks? You deserve love. You are lovable. So for one thing, you're starting to realize that you deserve love. You're starting to, to focus in and concentrate on, on this, on love, on manifesting the life that you want. And you have all these angels in your corner too that are supporting you as you, as you focus on whatever the situation is, and you're realizing that you're lovable and you're developing more self-confidence. Um, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. This situation might require some patience for some of you, but for others, I think it's just saying, you know, like you've been waiting for this for a long time. And when this person comes in, you're going to be glad it didn't work out with anybody else. Release your ex. Keep releasing old energy. You know, the time has come to to clear out your energy. The time has come to, this is chakra clearing as well. This, cause this is just any old stagnant energy. It's saying keep releasing the old if you want the new, you know? This was what that, that chaos card was. This is what that chaos card with, with the rigid card was all about. Was It's about, you know, this this drastic heavy energy and, and change, these, these huge energy shifts. And you, you want to keep doing the work yourself too. It's going to make it a lot easier if you just do it on your own. If you release this energy, clear your energy, clear your chakras, do soul retrieval, do healing rituals, do all that on your own. It's going to make it a lot easier if you're releasing the old stagnant energy yourself and you're allowing your new love to come in. 
and you have to love yourself. Um, you have to, you know, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Um, and you deserve love, whether you're insecure or confident, you deserve love either way. I, I hate it when people say you have to love yourself to be worthy of love. It's like, no, you, you really, some people don't, some people are insecure and that's just, it takes time to get through that, but you deserve love no matter what state you're in. But I think it's saying, you know, your, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Like just you doing this, you doing this work, you releasing this old energy, you, you stepping out of your comfort zone, you having faith and confidence in yourself, you believing in your future, believing in yourself, um, finding yourself again and being strong in yourself, taking your power back. All those things are going to make you so much more attractive to this new person that's coming in. And, you know, once they come in, it, it could be engagement, marriage, um, moving to a new location, um, just some sort of some higher commitment, some something just something stepping up. For some of you, this could be a a person that just wasn't getting it together and they they finally make that commitment they finally send a message they finally reach out for others of you i feel like i feel like for the majority of you this is probably you letting go of that old person and you you better and um and this person is is more more open to commitment than that than the last person was maybe the other person had commitment issues but this person isn't going to have the same commitment issues they're they're going to be willing to try with you um this is stay optimistic about your love life. This is, you know, faith. I see this as someone who's making an offering to the gods and goddesses or the angels. This is, you know, doing love drawing rituals, love drawing spells, communicating with the gods and goddesses, telling the universe what you want and word it as if you have it in the present moment because that's what makes it manifest in the present moment. When you feel as if you have it in the present moment, you word it as if you have it in the present moment. You you just feel all those feelings of having it now because if you say someday or you say eventually or whatever, you're you're putting it in the future. You're making it something that you have to fight for and have to wait for. And you want to put it in the present moment. You want to feel like you have this this love now to, to start manifesting it in the, in the physical. And the situation is calling for you to have faith, trust, trust in yourself, um, trust in your own intuition and trust in your guides. All right, let's take a look at Leo now. So this is looking at, um, you know, just your life in general over the next couple weeks and especially twin flame and soulmate relationships, just seeing what's going on in your love life over the next couple weeks, seeing what kind of life changes you can expect, what kind of energy you can expect over the next couple weeks. So this is for my Leo viewers. Just lighting some lemongrass. What can the Leo viewers watching this expect for their love lives or just in general over the next couple of weeks? What kind of energy can you expect? Let's focus on love, actually. Let's let's romantic, let's see, romantic relationships. I, I see dating. I feel like you're going to be dating over the next couple of weeks. I feel like you're going to be going out and, and do, being more, so, more social over the next couple of weeks. Of viewers, I think you're gonna have a little bit of an energy shift where you're just gonna feel a little bit lighter about everything. You're gonna feel a little bit um. I just see this energy. Something has been weighing you down, and I feel like it's gonna get a lot lighter. Whether it's you coming to a solution or you letting it go and deciding it's not worth it anymore, I feel like there's something that's there's gonna be a weight lifted off your chest the next couple weeks, and you're gonna feel better about everything. And you're going to be wanting to go out and be more social, and you're gonna just have um, just renewed energy. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a good couple weeks for you. I feel I feel like there's there's some good energy coming in for you, Leos, the next couple weeks. But let's let's take a look. Um, I guess this card wanted to come out, so Knight of Cups. Let's take a look, Leo viewers. What is going on for the Leo viewers? The next couple weeks. Oh, okay. I guess that's what's happening. 
It's the card. See, that's a lot of energy too. When it, when the cards just do that, when they're just like, okay, this is what we're doing. Like, it's pretty good. Please. Queen of Swords. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, with this with this Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords and Three of Cups here, so I'm gonna put these cards right over here because I feel like these are two different stories that are gonna be told. Um, so with the with the Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups here, I feel like this is involving a situation with someone that um that hurt you a lot in the past or is hurting you. But I feel like I feel like you're finally moving forward from it. I feel like you're not letting them drag you down as much or I feel like this is also just saying you know you have a big heart and you have been hurt a lot you have been in some pretty bad relationships where you've had your heart broken I mean we all have of course but but this is significant to this reading to the next couple weeks this is there's going to be something regarding this this heartbreak that you've been through with people in the past over the next couple weeks and this could be a um a new way of being, a new way of doing relationships, you know, maybe you're just going to say, like, I'm trying to see what I'm, what I'm channeling from this, um, you know, enough is enough, like, you, you've been heartbroken too many times, you've been let down too many times, you've, um, you, you've just been through a lot, and, and your heart needs some healing for sure, and, you know, I feel like that's kind of the energy I, I get. I was getting earlier when I was channeling as I was shuffling is I was getting this Three of Cups energy where you're, you're going to be moving on from this with, um, you know, support from your friends, support from the people you love. Um, you know, the, the Three of Cups is, it's like this happy tea party. You see this this woman, it's like an Alice in Wonderland. This is someone who's who's creative and fun and out there and maybe maybe someone who's an entrepreneur and likes to, throw parties and throw events and and be social you know this is this is a good social life this is celebration this is this is friendship harmony you know gathering just just happy happy good times together um you know like stopping and smelling the roses and and relying on your friends a little bit more letting your friends in a little bit more forming deeper connections with the people around you finding solutions to problems, you know, just, just being positive about everything and, and trying to, trying to just get into this, this creative, fun, social, loving energy. This is what's, this is the, this is, I feel like this is like the primary card of this, this reading for you the next couple of weeks is this, this, this creative, spunky, um, raw, emotional, just, just fun, supportive, loving energy that you're getting into and this energy is is helping you get out of this three of swords energy and I, I feel like again there's there's different groups that read this so i can take this a couple different ways um for some of you and it's raining a lot right now so maybe that's a, this it just it just started pouring down rain so so maybe this is like a really deep cleansing healing time for you and you're you're being um just cleansed of this this old stagnant energy and you're you're seeing the seeing things in a in a brighter just lighter your energy is just lighter i feel like something's been weighing you down and it's just been heavy and and over the next couple weeks your energy is just going to get so much lighter and you're just going to start feeling like yourself again um and, and again for so for a couple of you i think it, it means different things you know i i read there are different groups reading this so it's going to mean different things for different people for some of you, I do feel like this is just, you know, this is your past. This is where you've been in the past. You've been giving your all to people who are ghosting you or, you know, they're just not emotionally available. They're abusive. They're um, neglectful. They're they're not willing to commit. They're, you know, this could be family members, too, that you put yourself out for. Maybe you've been rejected by your family or you've been, um, you feel like the black sheep of the family or you're just... Um, you know, this is just this is just heartbreak. This is loss. This is betrayal. This is abandonment. This is just a lot of pain that you've you've gone through, and um, and over the next couple of weeks, I feel like you're you're putting that pain in the past. You're you're healing from it. You're letting it go. You're letting go of this heavy energy. Whether you're letting go of a family member, a friend, a lover, a situation, maybe you're just letting go of of being um that person. Maybe you're just letting go of um 
of letting people use you, letting people walk on you, letting people um, hurt you like that. Maybe you're just you're you're letting go of that way of being, and you're 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 getting into this this way of being. The Three of Cups, which is you know it's 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 relying on your friends a little bit more, opening up to your friends more, creativity, passion, fun, you know, like just just letting go of that heavy energy and seeing the lighter things of life, like enjoying the little things out of life, you know, like. Like going out and having fun and just, um, I keep seeing social events. Social events are going to be so important and so big for many of you Leos the next couple of weeks. Um, and I think it's a good thing too. I think you should be getting out there and you shouldn't, you should, it's not a good time to isolate yourself, I feel. I think this is, I mean, I think you need to do some healing work for sure. So if you need to isolate for that, that's fine. But for the most part, I feel like you're going to want to be going out and, and having fun and renewing life. You know, I think that you've been you've been um, putting that on hold long enough, and I think this is. One of, there's because social events just keeps popping up. Social event, social event, social event. Like maybe you're going to meet someone there. There's just something about social events for you the next couple of weeks. It's really important. Um, so don't don't cancel plans. You know, go through with with plans. Go through with. Um, with whatever this is, and we got we got a cat and a bunny here too. Those are maybe like little spirit animals around you too, and that would make sense. It's it's like these little you know it's it's like this light energy. So there's there's these spirit spirit animals around her. She's having a tea party, and she's just she's happy with that. You know, it's something so small. It's just a tea party, but it's like she loves it because she's just she's stopping and smelling the roses, and she's just. Um, She's just thankful for everything around her. She's practicing gratitude. And, and when you practice gratitude, more and more good things come in for you because you are you start realizing just all the abundance and all the good things that are around you. Um, but this is just someone who's really enjoying the little things, someone who's starting to appreciate their friends, starting to appreciate the support. You know, you're starting to let go of the people who haven't been there for you, starting to let go of the people who've let you down and betrayed you and cheated on you and hurt you and did this or that. You're letting go of those people and you're opening your eyes and becoming more aware of the good things in your life. You're becoming more aware of the people who have had your back since day one. You're becoming more aware of, you know, maybe maybe like a romantic partner, maybe someone like a coworker or a friend that you just kind of overlooked because they weren't your usual type and, and you're starting to notice them and you're starting to realize, you know, there is a connection here. There is something that might be worth, worth pursuing here. Um, you know, this is just, it's like the lighter side of life. You're just, you're starting to enjoy life finally. You're starting to, to not take everything so seriously as you, you might have been in the past. Um, another way I want to read this is, well, okay, so the Knight of Cups is following your heart. It's, you know, wanting love. It's it's imagination, but it's it's action, too. This is someone, this is you. And this is, you know, look at this woman. Look at this. Ooh, ah, sorry. <laughs> I'll put this right here in case you need to see it again. Threes are also really good numbers for you right now. It was, it was, I saw three, three, three on the board on the screen a minute ago. And, and so threes are also really significant right now. If you're doing witchcraft or spell work, Threes are a great number for manifestation, so keep that in mind that you might want to get in, in tune with the number three. Um, Knight of Cups. So this is, you know, someone following their heart, imagination, action, letting their emotions guide them. Um, you know, it's it's someone who's a dreamer, but they're they're manifesting their dreams too. They're they're fighting for their passions. They're they're fiery. They're you know, this is a, a fiery, passionate Leo. You're you're imagining things. You're you're feeling everything, but you're also acting. You're um. You know, this is this cup is about love, and this is this is like a knight. This is like forward energy. This is you know, you let love in. You you let your heart guide you, and that's a really beautiful thing. And so for some of you, it's just saying like you know that in the past, like letting your heart guide you or. I don't want to say letting your heart guide you in the past misled you because it didn't. You know what I mean? Like if you, I always say, you know, abusive relationships and emotionally unavailable relationships and subconscious patterns. Like if you had a bad childhood and you're attracted to that type of person when you grow up, that's all mental. That's all in your mind. It's it's body language. It's psychology. You're you're attracted to that type of person. Um, so you're not really following your heart, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, if you're following your heart, you're going to go with connections that are um, appealing to your soul. You're going to go with connections that feel good on a soul level. 
you're going to go with connections that just feel right on a soul level and on a heart level and um you know like listen to your body's intuition too when you meet new people does your body tense up or does your body feel relaxed like how does your soul feel do they resonate are there red flags are there green flags really look at that and be honest with yourself so i don't want to say that leading like listening to your heart got you hurt in the past because you weren't listening to your heart in the past you were listening to your mind in the past you were listening to your subconscious patterns you were listening to to who you were physically attracted to right away instead of taking the time to notice people around you that weren't your usual type that might have you know maybe soulmates that, that you could develop a, a real soul a real deep connection with but they're not your usual type because your usual type might not be so great for some of you um so so listening to your mind in the past got you heartbroken but you're you're getting out of this energy with the help of your friends enjoying the little things out of life um being successful being an entrepreneur being being um what's the word just creative you know what i mean this is just someone who's like you know you might be pursuing your hobbies you're you're going out you're exercising you're you're doing arts and crafts or you're you're singing or you're just you're doing some some sort of hobby this could be like reiki or um or healing or pursuing you know going to school pursuing just little things like that i feel like it's more of a fun energy though it's more of like I mean, yes, you might be going to school and you might love what you're studying, but I feel like this is more something like that you'd be studying that you would just like have fun with. You know what I mean? Like if you're studying um, how to sew or something, you're going to be having fun with it. Or if you're you're throwing events and you're throwing parties or you're um, designing costumes, just that kind of fun thing. You know what I mean? Like, look at this, this is Alice in Wonderland, someone who's creative and passionate and fiery and energetic and social. And so you're getting into this energy. Um, so I think for some of you in the next couple of weeks, it's, it's like you have this this shift in perspe perception where it's it's like in the past, you know, this this, you know, following your heart or following your um, emotions and, and following. Um, just just that kind of Knight of cups energy in the, in the past, maybe, you know, you got hurt a lot, but but you're coming out of it with the three of cups with with, you know, using um, channeling that emotion into something healthier into to healthy, supportive friendships, healthy partnerships. Um, creativity, passion, pursuing your hobbies, you know, you needed an emotional outlet because in the past, you know, if all that energy just went to abusive or emotionally unavailable people, of course, you got your heart broken. But now you're channeling this nine of cups energy into the, the three of cups. So this is healthy relationships, healthy friendships, supportive, loving, creative, fun friendships and relationships, um, lighter energy, um, pursuing hobbies, pursuing passions, career, school whatever it may be you're just you're channeling your emotions your strong heart your um your love for the world and for other people you're channeling it into something much better now instead of giving it to the same people who just use you and stomp all over you and just hurt you again and again you're, you're finally getting getting it to some, something better for some of you i feel like this means that someone is going to pour their heart out to you in a message and this is somebody who hurt you in the past this is someone who might have cheated on you might have hit you, might have, they did something bad, might have, um, could be an ex that's trying to win you back or considering, maybe maybe you feel their energy, maybe you're having dreams about an ex and you're wondering if they're coming in. It's 11.33 right now too, so again with the threes, the threes are everywhere for you Leos. Um, maybe they, they chose someone else over you, maybe they, um, what else am I getting here? Let me think about this for a minute. Maybe they chose someone else over you. Maybe they just, they weren't sure if they wanted you. Maybe they didn't commit and you moved on. There was just something where they messed up. And if you're picking up on this person's energy, that could be why if they're coming through in your dreams. Um, I'm getting military for, for some of you. Yeah, military for one or two of you. If this isn't, it's confirmation. There's nothing nothing significant about the military, but if there's, you know, it's, it's a confirmation for one or, one or two of you. If you have a military ex um, or like a cop who's an ex or something, that, that would make sense. Um, some sort of position of power. Um, so for some of you, I feel like this means that this person is thinking about you and they're thinking about making a love offer. They're thinking about opening their heart to you. They're thinking about um, apologizing or, or giving you some half-ass half -ass, half -ass apology. Maybe trying to run into you, trying to figure out where you are. Maybe um, maybe even like a little stalkerish. Maybe trying to figure out where, what, what's what happened to you. They're they're wondering about you. They might be stalking your social media. They might be thinking like, where did this person go? Like, what? Why? 
I haven't heard from them. What's going on with them? Um, they'd be asking your friends about you. Or this could just be someone who's just thinking about you and then they're on the verge of sending a message. Um, they're trying to win you back, basically. They're thinking about winning you back. Or this could, I mean, this could be, again, an ex who you haven't heard from for a while and they're, maybe they're showing up in your dreams and, and they're just, they're wanting to, um, to, to maybe have another chance. But I, I don't get a great feeling from this because, I mean, for some of you, maybe it, maybe it isn't, maybe you should go ahead for some of you, but I think for most of you, it's a no-go. And I think for most of you, you're going to end up rejecting this offer because you have the, um, again, this person is someone who really hurt you. And so I think for many of you, you're going to be, you're going to be uh, still beginning to this three of cups energy where you're like, no, I want something better than what I'm used to. I don't want this, this abusive or, or, uh, you know, someone who's unable to commit or someone who, who, who betrayed me too much or whatever. I don't want to do this again with this person. Um, so a lot of you, I think will be rejecting the apology or whatever this effort is this person makes, whether it's trying to bump into you in public or apologize, I think a lot of you are going to be rejecting it and and still getting into the Three of Cups energy where you're, you know, you want like a, you want like a lighter relationship. You don't want the same heavy, dramatic kind of relationship you had in the past. You want someone who's funny and, and silly and sweet and loving and romantic and down to earth and grounded and create creative and passionate someone who's on your level you don't want to do the same thing over and over again with toxic people you're you're opening yourself up to healthier people to healthier friendships to healthier family relationships to creativity to passion to to this this new fresh loving energy so keep doing what you're doing three of cups i mean leo's really study this card look into this card because this is the energy you want to get into the next couple of weeks Stay grounded in this Three of Cups energy. Keep going out and having fun and living your life. Keep, you know, maybe you need some support from your friends too. Maybe when this person comes in, you need them to remind you, hey, don't go back to that fuck boy or fuck girl or whoever they were. So maybe you need your friends to remind you why you left them in the first place or why, you know, you why you were trying to move on from them in the first place. Maybe you need that reminder. Let your friends remind you, you know. Let your friends remind you of why you... um why you left in the first place. That's what I'm saying. Um, so, so yeah, really, really get in tune with this energy. Six of swords is what we have next. And so, so that, that's kind of confirmation. You know, you see this woman who's, she's grounded. She's, look at her. She's, she's looking forward. She's, she's closing her eyes. She's, she's leaving the past behind. She's leaving the heavy burdens behind. She wants a new journey. She wants new love, new healthy friendships, new energy. And this is saying, you know, you're you're entering a new phase of your life. As long as you get in this three of cups energy, you you seek some support, you seek out healthy friendships and relationships, you 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 stay in this creative um just fiery. It's like a like a powerful lioness kind of energy where you're just out living your life. You're you're living your best life. You're having fun. You're enjoying music. You're enjoying dancing. You're enjoying the little things. You know, I see someone who's going out to, I, I see someone who's going out to clubs and dancing, but it's not like a self-destructive, it's not like you're getting wasted and you're going out dancing. It's like, you might not even be drinking that much when you go out, but you're just going out to have fun and dance and you're just loving the music and you're loving being around people right now. And you're loving having a renewed social life and, and and having fun and being creative and you might be throwing these little events here and there that you should keep throwing those events those are those are good for you um for most of you those are pretty good um it's just stay in tune with this energy and, and when you do that you know you get into the six of swords energy which is leaving your past behind knowing that good things are coming um you know it's, it's a new life it's moving forward it's starting fresh you know leaving toxic people behind um it's it's a huge energy shift and, and life transition that you're going through and you get into this queen of swords energy which is is kind of necessary if you have someone toxic if you have a toxic family member friend lover toxic situation toxic person trying to come back in it's really great that you're in this queen of swords energy because you know you need to um you you do need to be in this this kind of balanced logical emotional i mean it, it she's not too emotional she's more logical about things but she's you're emotional when you're out with your friends you're emotional on your own when you're having fun 
But regarding this toxic situation or toxic person, you know, you have to have the Queen of Swords energy. You've got to be, um, it's just someone who's, who's strong, who's, who's grounded, who's, who's logical about things. You're not letting them, you're not letting the apology, you're not letting them, um, weasel their way back in. You're, you're stronger than that. You're really thinking about things. You're taking the time to weigh the pros and cons of talking to this person again. You're, you're taking the time to, to really, um, Think about what's best for you. Think about what's right for your life. Think about where you want your life to go next. And as you do that, it's, it's like you have this, this, you just have a new life. You know, you, you're, you're, you're creating a new life the next couple of weeks. You're, you're, you know, you have just a lot of really, really good energy over the next couple of weeks. So, so keep that in mind. Um, you know, again, this is being logical, not letting them get in your head again, being, um, seeing the bigger picture and being grounded and logical about things, not letting them um, weasel their way back in or not letting the situation of this person, whatever it is, weasel their way back in. You're, you're, you're the queen of swords. You're, you're above that energy. You're, you know better than that. And with the hierophant here too, we have someone who's really focusing on themselves, someone who's, um, you might be seeking out um, support from a, this could be an institution, this could be um, like a, this could be a church or a witchcraft group or a, um, or just some kind of social group. This is some kind of group you might be seeking out some um, support from. This is also, you know, finding the right teachers and, and learning and studying and growing and pursuing your hobbies, your passions, pursuing your career. Um, you know, this, the Hierophant is traditionally, it, I mean, traditionally it's it's about following traditions, um, guidance from a higher power, rules, but I feel like this is kind of you questioning the Hierophant energy too. It's, it's like, what traditions are right for me? What rules are right for me? What, um, you know, setting your own rules, setting your own traditions, figuring out what's really right for you, not just going with society's standards, but really making your own path and, you um, and balancing, you're like you're making your own path, but you're also seeking out guidance from um, from from a social group, or and you're 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 still learning, you're still studying, and you're still growing. And and as you learn and you study, it, it helps you find what's right for you too, because you're, you know, you're figuring out what rules are right for you, what what um what traditions are right for you, and you have to do that by by getting out and experiencing the world and 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 seeing many different perspectives to, to really find your own true perspective. So this is about learning and growing and and seeing all kinds of different perspectives and just taking what resonates and feel right feel what feels right for you and making your own path and and forging ahead and making your own your own moral code, your own rules for your life, finding what's just what's right for you. You know what I mean? It's just it's being open-minded, but it's being strong in who you are as well. And this is that energy that we have coming in for the Leos the next couple of weeks. So it's really good. Your your life is changing a lot um, over the next couple of weeks. I, I keep seeing you at a club. I, I don't know why I keep seeing you dancing at a club. So I don't know if you're a dancer. I don't know if you just like going out and and dancing and having fun, but I think it's actually a great time to do that. I think it's, it's really, um, I mean, don't get wasted and don't be self-destructive, of course, but, um, you know, this is a great time to go out and have fun and, and dance. And, you know, if you want to drink a little bit, that's that's up to you. I mean, but what I'm saying is it's not really about the energy I feel is not someone trying to, like, get wasted and escape all their pain. This is someone who genu genuinely just wants to go out and and have fun and live their best life. You know what I mean? It's that kind of energy. It's not someone at a club, like, waiting for someone or trying to meet someone there or or drinking themselves into oblivion it's it's not that kind of energy it, it's someone out in a club dancing and and talking to new people and having fun and enjoying the music and enjoying the conversation and enjoying every little thing about life um so it's really great energy i do feel like you're going to be meeting new people as well too so i feel like you're going to have options and i feel like you're just when this if, if this toxic person tries to come back, whether it's a family, friend, lover, whoever they are, um, I don't think you're gonna want it. I think you're gonna be I think you're gonna be like, no, I'm living my best life. I, I have, you know, I just have you're gonna have so many good things going for you, so many passions, careers, career, um, 
career pursuits, that kind of thing, that that sort of energy that you're getting in tune with, um, where you're not going to want it. You're just, you're not going to want this old person. Um, can you tell me about love for the Leos? Tell me about this new soulmate. Tell me what, what, what do the Leos need to know about this, this, these new, um, because that is a collective energy I keep channeling as I keep channeling new soulmates coming in and that's for every sign. Like almost every reading I've done so far has been, um, recently has been, you know, new love coming in for just about everyone. It's just, it's different. It manifests differently for everybody. For some people it's, it's, you might be getting back with an ex first. For some people it's, it's, um, it's more complicated. It's the timelines vary. It's going to vary for everybody. Um. And even for Leo viewers, the timelines are always going to vary. You have to keep that in mind that, um, you know, timelines are just very tricky because because, you know, energy shifts and, and it's dependent on the other person and you and, you know, free will and intention and words, actions, energy, everything. You know, the timelines can always vary. So keep that in mind. Um, do you have these cards that wanted to pop out? Forgiving and oh, you can't see that, can you? Forgiving and learning as you as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So releasing the past, and then it's 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 safe for you to love. Open your heart to to giving and receiving the highest energy of all. And with this 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 three of cups energy that's coming into, I feel like you're going to be in that energy where you're just going to be open to life. You're, you're not going to be needing someone so much as just being open to love coming in. You're just going to just kind of be enjoying your life. And if, if someone comes in, you're, it's great. If they don't, it's, it's fine too. You're just, you're kind of just open, you know, you might be hoping for someone, but you're, you're over the next couple of weeks, you're just starting to love and enjoy your life so much that you're not focused on any one particular thing or one particular person, if that makes sense. So for love, what else do the Leos need to know for love? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You know, as you're getting out and you're being confident and assertive and, and fun and energetic and passionate and and making new friends and, and being willing to step out of your comfort zone and meet new people and maybe date the, the girl or the boy next door type. Date someone that's not your usual type. Date someone who's not, a, you know, the typical bad boy who you're just attracted to right away who treats you like shit and ignores you don't go for that type anymore um go for someone you might have overlooked um as you get into that energy where you're just you're living your life and you're open to new things and you're stepping out of your comfort zone that's when love starts flowing to you and it's it's very soon you know clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now you're in this period the next couple of weeks where of manifestation where you can have what you want you can have love career money abundance you're just you're making your life what you want it and, and so you if you want love you can have it um stay hopeful optimistic about your love life this is you know i always see this as communicating with gods goddesses angels your spirit guides making offerings to your spirit guides communicating with the universe about what you want and and wording it as if you have it in the present moment you know, don't feel like it's something that's going to take a long time. Don't feel it. Don't put it in the future. Don't say someday or eventually, you know, no, don't do that. You know, feel as if you have it in the present moment. Manifest it in the present moment. Feel that energy of having it now um, worth waiting for. Divine timing, you know, this may have, may have taken a long time to get there, but you're, you're getting there now. Um, you've gone through a lot. You may have gone through codependency in the past. I, I do think you went through codependency in the past where, you know, you had addictions or your partner had addictions that were affecting your romantic love life. Um, maybe there's still some codependency and insecurity and addictions that need to be healed to attract a healthy partner. But you're doing it now, and yes, you are attracting a soulmate. You are attracting someone who's who's going to be... You are attracting someone who, who's going to be your, your other half, someone who's going to be supportive of you. Children might be affecting your love life. You know, this could be someone who's childish. This could be an ex who's childish, or it could be someone who actually has children that's coming in. Um, let's see what I'm getting here.
Let me figure out what I'm picking up. Let me shuffle these again. Tell me about the soulmate. Show me the soulmate specific. Show me more about the soulmate. Tell me more about... Actually, I'm going to pull from these cards. Show me more about the soulmate that's coming in. Yeah, because there's like, there's an abusive or just someone who's not so great here. Some sort of energy that's not so great that's like, no, pick me. And I'm like, uh, let's see the soulmate, not the old partner, the soulmate. <laughs> someone who might have been kind of controlling with you in the past. It's this energy I'm feeling is kind of controlling where they're kind of trying to block the reading and focus on them. And it's just like, oh, no, don't do that. Chaos, you know, this person was this old person was chaos. Um, the new person is going to be more loyal, they're going to be more um, patient, more understanding, more supportive, more loyal. And this is going to be a fulfilling romantic relationship. Um, you know, again, the old person is going to try to remind you of the past, and it's, it's up to you. You want the past, you want the familiar, or you want the future. You want something that's that's going to be a lot healthier and more supportive, and, and it's re going to require confidence, it's going to require um. You know, faith in yourself and, and being confident and realizing what you deserve and, and not just staying in your comfort zone, but actually trying with someone who's who's much healthier for you and much better. And you know that and it's going to be a risk. You're going to be scared at first. You're going to have some emotions to get through. You're you're going to take this risk with this person and it, it's going to be unfamiliar and strange and scary at first, but it's going to be worthwhile. Um, you got to let go of the past. So you have to let go of, of people that hold you down. You have to let go of what people said, what people did, let go of um, whatever's holding you back so that, you know, and don't be in denial. Don't get stuck in denial. Don't get stuck um, telling yourself that this person could change. If, if they if they did something really bad, like hit you or they cheated on you or something, you know, don't don't tell yourself that they're not going to do it again because they, they probably will. Um, but, you know, we have the longing here. We have... Um, Belonging. This is this is belonging is about it's 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 home. It's going home. It's feeling at home around the people around you, and that's gonna take a risk to get there. It's gonna take um really jumping out of your comfort zone. It's gonna take you know getting rising above subconscious patterns and and dating new people that aren't maybe aren't familiar. It's, it's gonna your your whole life is gonna change. You have that energy around the next couple of weeks for your life to just change drastically as much as you'll let it. The more you step out of your comfort zone, the more you open your mind and open your heart to, to new experiences, new situations, new people, the more that, 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 that ah, God, what was that? <laughs> the more that, that true love kind of energy is going to start coming in, if that makes any sense. You know, the, the more you're opening yourself um, just up to new experiences, new love, um, just unfamiliar, fresh passionate energy, you know, the more you're going to be drawing in, um, better people. All right. All right. Sagittarius viewers. Let's see what's going on for our Sagittarius viewers over the next couple of weeks. So this is, you know, it's, it's whatever comes up. Usually it's Twin flame and, and soulmate relationships, romantic relationships. Um, sometimes work comes up as well. Um, I do see some career shifts. I don't know if it's a new job or it's just a new perspective regarding um, regarding a current job. But I do see some um, some type of career shift for um, for Sagittarius, where they're just it might be it, it might not necessarily be that you're. You're not necessarily quitting a job or anything like that, but it's just it's just a new type of energy, a new um, something new, some 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 new way of thinking or or new way of doing things that's, that's coming in for you over the next couple of weeks. Light my lemongrass and bay leaf really quick.
All right, Sagittarius viewers. What is going on for Sagittarius viewers over the next couple of weeks? Fire sign, Sagittarius. What is going on for Sagittarius viewers over the next couple of weeks? I feel very calm reading this too. I mean, reading Sagittarius, so I think there's a lot of like the next few weeks are, are calm, but they're, how do I describe it? I think you're just going to start feeling better about things. That's what I'm getting for fire signs in general, is that um, just lighter energy, that things are going to lighten up a bit. If you've been stressed out about money, about work, about hobbies, um, career, just there's some kind of stress that I feel like fire signs are just releasing over the next couple of weeks where, where things are just getting a little bit lighter. You're stepping into lighter, um, happier, more, you know, just flowing energy. All right. What do Sagittarius viewers need to know about love particularly, or just anything that wants to come out? What do Sagittarius viewers need to know? Ten of Swords, this is the past. I mean, you're getting out of that energy now. So you think career, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling career is really um, heavy for you guys right now. I think that's a really heavy focus, whether you're an entrepreneur and you're focusing on, on art, on music, on career, it's just some sort of of shift regarding those things over the next couple of weeks, but it's it's a really good thing. It's it's not a bad shift at all. It's it's a really um positive shift. Maybe you've been waiting for something. Maybe you're waiting for news, and it, it sounds like it's probably going to to go in your favor. From what I'm seeing here, at least for those that are resonating with this reading, I'm seeing primarily um work, you know, school um. you know, art, music, hobbies, that kind of thing in this reading. I, I think there's there's a heavy focus on um on just bettering yourself over the next couple of weeks and and manifesting your dreams. I don't sense a heavy focus on on love over the next couple of weeks, but um but I will after I do this, after I tell you what this reading wants to say to you, I will pull some um cards regarding love and, and let you know. I do feel like in the recent past or even this could even be like the first, you know, over the next few days this this week, there could be um still some of this energy, this Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands. I feel like most of you are out of this energy, though, but some of you aren't. And in the Ten of Swords is, it's, you know, look at her. She's, look, she just feels, you can, can you see that? You can see that, okay. She just feels hopeless. She feels, you know, sad. She, she feels like she's close to drowning. She's she's looking up. She's just kind of paralyzed. Like she doesn't want to move. It's just it's it's heartbreak. It's um it's pain, betrayal, drowning. It's 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 um you know, maybe this is like this could have been like a drastic situation where someone just cheated on you or someone just really really let you down. This could be a friend or a lover, someone that just Kind of made you hit rock bottom. Um, you know, it's just, just someone that really hurt you, or, or maybe it's just maybe you've just been hurt a lot in the past. But I feel like for most of you, this is a particular person in the you know the, the not too distant um, past that that hurt you, and you you experience this you experience this awakening as a result of it. Though you you did experience some type of awakening. You know, you, you found your, your strength after this relationship. You, um, you know, it, it's, it's darkest before the dawn, basically, is, is what I'm getting from this. It's, it's a new beginning. It's new strength. It was a really hard, hard, painful thing to go through, but you hit rock bottom. Maybe there was a lot of drinking. Maybe there was a lot of, maybe even drug, drug use for some of you. Maybe there was, um, I just sense partying a lot, but partying in like a very destructive way, not like in a fun way, but just kind of like just wanting to numb yourself. Um, 
a sense. Um, just, I mean, people are going to deal with pain differently. So that, that's just for some of you that this resonates with. Some of you, maybe maybe you didn't deal with it that way. But either way, I do sense a lot of pain that you are currently going through or just, you know, recently, maybe in the, in the not too distant past, just went through. And this person was, you know, you were in this five of wands energy where it's, it's someone who's um, not, not com maybe commitment issues, maybe not committing, maybe not... Um, not talking to each other it's like these two people want to talk to each other but we have the woman here who's kind of sulking and pouting and and looking down and and giving up on the situation and not willing to put more energy or effort into it and the man over here is just kind of tilting his hat like he doesn't see her he doesn't want to um acknowledge this this energy he doesn't want to acknowledge it anymore he doesn't know how to do it anymore either it's it's two people who might want to talk to each other, might want to come to a, to a conclusion. And for some of you, I feel like this person, this other other woman or other man might have, um, maybe they just wanted a, um, a conclusion. Maybe they just wanted closure. Maybe they just wanted to, to end this on better terms, but they hurt you too much to the point where you're just like, no, we can't really end this on good terms. It was too, the betrayal was too much. There's, we're not going to have a friendship after this. We're not going to be okay after this. Um, for some of you, this is just maybe a situation where you're giving a lot of energy to someone who is just not texting you back, not fully emotionally available. They just, they weren't really, um, because for some of you, I feel like for some of you, some, some of you, they, you know, this, both people wanted to communicate, but I think in a lot of the cases, maybe the person just wanted to communicate because they wanted closure and maybe part of you knew that and you didn't want to do it. Um, because you just felt too betrayed and you're like, you know, there's nothing to save here. Or maybe some people did um, want another chance at this relationship, but you just, you couldn't do it. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like also that this, that only one person wants to communicate, whether it's the man or the woman, I feel like only one person in a situation wanted to communicate. The other was just not in a position to date, not in a position to um, give you what you needed and wanted. Maybe there's just some communication issues. Just there's a, just this distance, you know. Take it as it resonates. It's just this general energy of of distance and and having walls up and and not you or them or both of you not saying what needs to be said, not being honest, not not saying what you want to say. Not there's this energy here of just stagnation where it's it's like where you need closure or you need um, to work through it together or something, you know what I mean? Where it's just, you're not getting that. It's kind of just things are like at a standstill where things just aren't moving. It's like one of you needs to talk. You guys need to talk whether you move one way or the other. And maybe, you know, maybe you do need to send that text just to have closure. Maybe if it's, maybe you're scared to, to talk to them, but maybe you need to know, like you don't want someone who's not going to commit to you. You don't want someone who's not going to show up and be supportive and loyal and have your back through the good and the bad. You know, you want someone who's going to be your other half. You want someone who's, who's going to emotionally support you. Someone who's going to, um, just love you for who you are. Someone who's going to see the good and the bad and just want you anyway, despite all of it. And, um, you know, maybe, maybe there might be some harsh truth to this. Maybe you'll reach out and they'll say, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm, there's someone else or there's something else or you're just, I wasn't feeling the same connection you were feeling. I mean, I'm sorry that's harsh energy, but it, it's just, there's just this, this, again, there's just walls, there's stagnant energy and you need to get out of this stagnant energy and move one way or the other, whether it's closure or whether it's talking and working through things together, you know, this energy needs to shift finally. And I feel like after you get out of this energy, it is shifting. It's, um, and we have the Ten of Pentacles here, and and this is this is gold. This is wealth. This is this is someone who really worked hard for everything that they had. You know, this is someone who's who's stuck to their passion, stuck to their goal, stuck to their dreams for a long time. Um, for some of you, it could be this this relationship sh shifting, and you know, it's successful, and you guys are. Um, if you're entrepreneurs or there's some kind of business transaction here, if there's like a business partnership, maybe it's, it's your successful together. But for many of you, I just feel like it's getting out of this energy and, and focusing on yourself more. And as you do this, I mean, look at her. She's very worldly. She's very, look at her crown. She's, she's very, um, 
She's successful. She's this is completion, abundance, wealth, accomplishment. Um, you know, enjoying and sharing your success, um, sharing your, you know, if you're creative, it, this could be music, this could be art, this could be sharing your artwork, this could be sharing um, it's just some kind, some kind of success. This, this could be family support as well, but I feel like for many of you, this is just um, overall abundance and success, and you're focusing more on, on the, you're focusing less on love and less on this, this person, less on this energy, and more on the material world more on making your dreams manifest you're focusing on yourself you're focusing on completing projects you're focusing on um just being abundant all around and it's good you know like you need to get past this energy and you need to well, again whether you have closure or whether this person comes back and you guys work it out whatever it is you need to move past this energy and get into this ten of pentacles energy where you're um you're just I mean, it's just, it's more, it's more of a, a successful energy. It's more, it's abundant. It's, it's, you're just, you're working on yourself more and it, it's, it's a really good thing. Then we have four of cups keeps wanting to come out. So I'm going to put that right there because I feel like it has to, I feel like it wants to clarify the um, ten of pentacles. So let me see what it wants to say here. Okay. So the four of cups is. It's dissatisfaction. It's a lack of motivation. It's boredom. It's 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 someone who's been hurt a lot, and and they're just kind of um, bored with life a little bit. If that makes any sense, they're um, what am I getting from this? It's it's contemplation. It's it's just they're not motivated right now, and they're they're taking some time alone to reevaluate everything. Um, So I think this could be, I think, I feel like what this is trying to tell me is that you do need to have a balance. For some of you, I feel like after this heartbreak, you just want to shut your heart down and say like, I'm done with love. But it, it's like, realistically, we're human. You can't be done with love. No one can be done with love. It just doesn't work. We're human. We are biologically wired to, to need and to want love. And it's normal. We're emotional beings where you're going to want love and support at some point. You're going to want cuddling. You're going to want closeness. You're going to want someone to talk to at some point. So I don't know why, but for some of you, I feel like this is a situation where your best friend betrayed you. Maybe your best friend messed around with, or maybe a close friend messed around with someone that you were close to. Um, I don't know why that's coming up right now. I don't know who that's for, but for some of you, I feel like maybe your best friend did some shit behind your back. Um, but I think this four of cups energy, it's it's okay. So you're you're feeling dissatisfied and you're you're lacking motivation and you're bored with life. But I, th I think it's saying too that you you can't this was messed up, whatever happened with this this person in this situation, it was messed up. But you can't really just shut your heart down forever. It's just not gonna work. You're gonna need um love and support, you know, friendships, romantic relationships, closeness, just you, you know, you're going to want that eventually. And so it's not realistic to shut your heart down. You know, you have to have a balance. You have to have a a strong, successful, happy home life, family life, um, relationships, you know, friendships, fam like romantic relationships and money and abundance and career and hobbies and passions. You have to have all of that to paint the bigger picture. You can't just have one thing. And so for some of you, I feel like some of you are saying, fuck it, I'm done with love. I'm going to shut my heart down. I'm going to focus on being the shit, I'm going to, the king or the queen, whatever, I'm going to focus on the material world, on money, on on career or whatever, and it's, it's saying, you know, in the long run, you're not going to be satisfied with that, you're going to get bored because you do need the emotional, you need, you do need family and friendships and, and true love, you know, romantic relationships, you do need emotional support too, so do not get lost in this Ten of Pentacles energy, um, you know, you have to, you just won't be happy in the long run with that. You do have to have a balance. You have to um, try to heal from this in, in healthy ways. You have to try to process this and and heal from it. And you might need to cut some people out of your life. Maybe you have some toxic people in your life that you do need to cut out. Maybe they are just holding you back. So maybe for some of you, it really is time to cut some people out of your life that have betrayed you or let you down or just used you or hurt you again and again. But that doesn't mean you just shut your heart down for good. Like there are still healthy, loving people out there that will support you and love you and, and believe in your dreams with you. There are people that will believe in you. There are people that will see.
see the good and the bad in you and just want you anyway and stick by your side. There are people who will be loyal to you. There are people that will not betray you. You know what I mean? There, there, are, there are good people out there. It's just a matter of... Um, of getting out of your comfort zone and, and, and meeting better people, you know, stop. If you have a usual pattern with friendships or relationships, and I keep getting that a lot for fire signs. I keep, that's keep coming up for fire signs. Um, but if you have a pattern with, with emotionally unavailable people or abusive people, whether it's friendships, relationships, um, whatever it might be, toxic people, people who just party all the time and they're not, they're not, um, they don't care about getting ahead in life. People that just, drag you down people that just aren't they don't feel good for you on a soul level you know it, it's saying like you got to rewrite that pattern you have to you have to really think about your subconscious mind and think about the patterns you keep repeating and be honest with yourself about those patterns and and start um really thinking about who you are and thinking about who you want thinking about the kind of friendships kind of relationships you want think about what you want out of a partner think about what you expect out of your friends and loyalty and su emotional support should be just those are just basic necessities in most friendships so like you should have that you should have that kind of support in your friendships you should have that kind of support in your relationships um so so really look at the subconscious patterns that you're repeating and, and try to meet people in better places maybe I feel like a lot of you are meeting people in bars. Um, but really look at those patterns and start start going for people that are out of your comfort zone. Start like noticing people around you that maybe they're not familiar. Maybe it's kind of unfamiliar and scary to you. But, but start really um, noticing the good people around you. Start noticing the people that have your back. Start noticing the people that love you. Start going out and, and finding healthier places to meet people, healthier places to make friends, healthier places to meet potential romantic partners. Um, and, and start writing those patterns. Start start stepping out of your comfort zone. Sometimes you got to force yourself out of your comfort zone. You have to be honest and really honest with yourself, honest with others. You've got to set boundaries with other people now. You've got to cut some people out of your life possibly too and, and start meeting better people. Start... Um, Think, really thinking about who you are and who you want. Start thinking about what you will and will not tolerate and um, and just get out there and, and meet healthier people. And and um, again, it's going to be out of your comfort zone. I feel like for some of you, it's going to be, you you need healthier, just healthier people in your life. You need, you need more supportive, more, more loving people in your life. Um, and again, it, it's out of your comfort zone. I really do feel like you might be going someplace that's not Maybe you're going to start meeting people someplace that's not like your usual cup of tea. It's not your usual, um, I don't know why I said cup of tea. Maybe that's relevant. Maybe you're going to go to, I don't know what's what it is with tea in this fucking reading. But tea keeps coming up. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe that's relevant for some of you. Um, but, but just, you, I just feel like I just see you going out and... and um, Maybe like maybe it's like arts and crafts or it's like yoga or so, I don't know what it is. It's like some place like that that's some place where you can meet people that are more in tune with who you are on a spiritual level, on a soul level. You know, it, it's it's not. I feel like you've been meeting so many people at in unhealthy environments, and it's, it's saying you know you need to meet people in better environments. You need to stop resonating with people who are who resonate with your trauma or who resonate mentally. Start resonating with people who who resonate on a soul level, on a heart level. You know what I mean? Pursue your spirituality. Develop your spirituality. Develop your intuition. Listen to your body when you're around new people too. Um, does your body tense up? Does your body... Um, does it feel relaxed? You know, with the right people, your body should feel relaxed and you're, you should feel good and there should be green flags. With the wrong people, your body is going to tense up. Usually your body will tense up. I mean, it, it depends on how everyone's intuition is different. So your intuition might communicate with you in different ways. And you need to discover what that what those ways are. But for many people, around negative people, your body is going to tense up. You're going to feel on edge. You're going to feel like you have to keep secrets. You're going to feel like you can't be honest. You're going to feel like you can't be your true self. So who do you feel like your true self around? That's what you need to ask yourself. Who makes you feel like your true self? Who brings out the good in you? 
who brings out your spiritual side? Who brings out your emotional side? Who who do you feel safe with? Um, that's the kind of energy you want. So so stop thinking with your mind so much. Stop stop attracting relationships and friendships that are mind based, that are based on these subconscious patterns, these toxic subconscious patterns that you keep repeating with people. Stop all that and start meeting people in a healthier environment. Start. Start going for people that resonate with you on a soul level, on a heart level. Even if you're scared, even if it's unfamiliar, it's it's much better energy. Um, so that Four of Cups is just there to remind you that you can't shut your heart down. You can't. You just need to do things better. You need to stop doing things the way you've done them in the past. You can't keep repeating the, the past. You can't keep doing things the same way you've done them in the past. Whether you're sabotaging relationships or you're going for people who sabotage the relationship or you're... It's just a lot of fear and ego and control and just this this prideful negative energy is what I'm feeling. And it's like, you obviously have to get out of this energy and do things better, do things differently than, than what you've done. And I know it's it's not easy. I know it's it's a difficult, you're really gonna have to force yourself out of your comfort zone. It's it's not easy. It's 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 a transition that you're going through. It's an awakening that you're going through. It's 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 not it's not always easy, but um but you know, I always say that that, you know. I always say that that you should follow your heart because your heart and your soul, you know, your spirit, your spirit guides, those are going to lead you to to healthy, loving relationships. It's people think they're following their heart when they're really following their mind. They're following their subconscious patterns. They're following their fears and their insecurities and their egos, and they're attracting people based on that. So people think they're following their heart when they're actually following their mind. And what I'm getting is that you have been following your mind and you need to start following your heart. You need to start following your um, your intuition, your emotions. You need to start um, attracting better. You need to start stepping out of your comfort zone. Push yourself out of your comfort zone and, and start um, just noticing better people around you. Start start going to healthier places to meet people. Start um, just really rewriting these patterns that you've had in relationships um, and with the four of cups here, it's, you know, it's someone who's been hurt a lot, but it's, again, it, it's, it's lack of motivation and boredom. So again, it's just a warning. It, it's like, you can't just focus on work and career and shut love out. It's not going to work. You have to have a balance. You have to, um, make room in your life for everything, for love, for career, for family, for friendships, for yourself, put yourself first, um, Put, you know, who you are, who you are on a soul level. Put that first. But you you do have to have a balance. You can't shut love out. You do need love. We all need love. It's it's totally normal. Um, and then we have the wheel here. What is the wheel trying to tell me? This is changes. This is cycles. And again, I think that this is... Um, Well, I always, when I see the red thread in any of these cards, I always think like the red thread that connects people, the red, you know, this connects soulmates and twin flames and even just, it connects everybody. Like anyone you have a close emotional bond with, you've got this red thread where it's, it's like you were connected to them, they're connected to you, you're, you're sending emotions, um, energy, feelings, thoughts back and forth. You have, this is in the astral plane. You're sending this energy back and forth where you have this red thread that connects you to people that you're really close to, that you have deep emotional bonds with. Um, so take some time to really reflect on these red threads. Take some time and think about what threads you want to cut out and what threads you want to strengthen. You know, who is healthy for you? Who resonates on a soul level and who is just toxic and dragging you down and has been for a while? You know, who's... It's 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 hard. It's it's some hard life changes that you might have to make over the next couple of weeks, but um but but you have to you need to maybe do some cut and clear rituals, spells. Um and it's 1222, so 222. That's a really significant number too. Um you, you know, you need to you need to figure out who you want to cut out and and who you want to strengthen bonds with right now. That's what you need to figure out. Um and the wheel is it's about cycles. It's about um let me see, what else can I get from this? It's I mean it's 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 a roller coaster, it's up and down sometimes. I feel like there there are gonna be some heavy emotions tied to this because you are letting go of a lot of people, like I said, that you are gonna be letting go of some people, and that's it's, it's it's sometimes sometimes that is a pretty hard transition to make. You know, it's it's not easy. Um 
but it's it's cycles it's life changes too it's 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 coming at your you know you're coming into you're realizing that you can't keep repeating these patterns with toxic people you can't keep going for toxic and emotionally unavailable people and maybe you yourself have some emotionally unavailable tendencies that you're not aware of and maybe you're going for people based on those that you haven't even maybe realized that you're doing it you know what i mean maybe you're both sabotaging the relationships that you're in Maybe it's you and the other person. It's not just them, not just you. Maybe it's it's you doing it too. You're you're drawing in these people. You're drawn to them, um, and so this is you know this is um, this changes. It's cycles. It's it's getting out of the cycle where you're you're either in 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 unhealthy relationships and friendships or you're shutting your heart down and just focusing on yourself and work and career. It, it's getting out of the cycle and finding a better balance healthy relationships, um, career, love, success, just abundance in all areas of life. You need all all areas of your life to be fulfilling and to, to you know, you need energy focused on all areas of your life. You can't have one without the other. You need love, you need work, you need career, family, friends, you need all of it. Um, and this is a new cycle. This is a new way of being. And with, with this, this fool here, we, we do have that this is the the first card in the major arcana. And and so it is, it's it's confirming this, you know, there there is a, a new cycle this is this is um this is great for like painters and musicians too because it's it, i always see that too this woman who's out in nature she's she's connected with the universe she's connected with nature she's drawing she's painting she feels free spirited she's reclaimed herself she's reclaimed her power she's reclaimed her free spirited side um and this is this is new projects this is new relationships this is new um this is just success this is just it's putting energy into new things. This is a new beginning for you once you once you break this cycle and you 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 develop, you know, you you go you just drastic change is what's coming. And and once you do that and you find a better balance, a healthier balance, healthier people, you have this new beginning coming in. And you know, Queen of Swords energy, you you have to be logical and emotional. You have to have that balance. You have to you have to be able to cut this keeps coming up with, with my with my um fire sign readings too um you gotta kind of be able to cut people out if you need to you have to be able to be logical and cut people out if you need to you need to 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 really step back and think about things and look at everything look at your life in an honest light um has it been worth it has this are these people around you are they worth the energy are they worth the effort do you really want to keep doing this with these people um I notice the two tens here as well. It, it's like you know, drastic change. You know, with with both with both swords and pentacles. Swords is mind. It's um, it's pain too. And then pentacles is it's work, career. It's like you're you completed the cycle. You completed the cycle, and then you're completing this other cycle as well. It's just there's so much change and so much accomplishment over the next couple of weeks, and you're stepping into this new way of being. And you do have to get into this Queen of Swords energy, where you can. Take the sword and cut out what needs to be cut out. Cut out the people that need to be cut out of your life. Make those harsh, intense life decisions. You need to step up now and make those life, deci life decisions that need to be made. You need to, to start being more honest with yourself about who needs to go and who needs to stay. And you have the star. You're planting new seeds. You're, this is hope. This is faith. This is renewed energy. This is... This is um, this is just it's it's taking your energy back it's reclaiming yourself it's it's soul retrieval it's reclaiming maybe do a soul retrieval session as well that could help you a lot um reclaiming yourself you know just having new hope having new faith new love new career new things coming in your life um planting seeds planting seeds of what you want to manifest in your life so it's, it's like after you cut these toxic people out it's, it's like you're you're lifting this dead weight and and you have um, it's just a really good energy. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, you have good energy coming in. There's just a lot of life changes that are coming for you. Um, but it's, it's all really good. It's things that you want. It, it might be kind of heavy. It might be painful. Maybe, maybe you're going to be letting go of some people that you've known for a long time. But, you know, I think deep down, you know, it's time to, if someone is just that toxic and they keep using you and they keep taking advantage or they keep, they're just not a healthy, they're not not good for you. They, you don't you don't feel good around them. You know what I mean? It's like they they betray you. They 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 you just don't feel good around them. And it's it's a hard life change to make, but I feel like a lot of you are making those those changes. So it's it's good. Um, really step up and be assertive and be honest with yourself and others and and set boundaries over the next couple of weeks. Let me see if you have new love coming in. 
I feel like many of you are just going in a transition where you might not be as focused on love or you might just be, um, but I feel new soulmates for so many people right now. I keep channeling that for everybody. We're letting go of old toxic energy and, and bringing in new love. Um, let me light this, light some lemongrass and bay leaf. So cleansing, cleansing, healing, that's really good for you right now. Be gentle with yourself. You know, you might have to be really self-reliant right now as you, if you cut out someone that you've been close to for a long time or people that you've been close to, it might be more than one person that needs to go. Um, it's going to be hard and, and maybe you go through a transition, but you are, you either have healthy people, healthy, loving, supportive people in your life or you're... You're in a transition where you got to cut out the toxic people and you got to work on your self-confidence and you have to work on um, on really being honest with yourself about who you are and what you want. And as you do that, you attract better people. So so love is either around you or it's coming in, but you do need to get rid of these um, these toxic people that are holding you back first. That really helps. It makes a difference. It clears up the energy. Can you tell me about soulmate relationships for Sagittarius's? Sagittarius, what can you tell me about new soulmates coming in over the next two or three weeks? You guys are just, you're in a transition, so I mean, it's going to be different for everybody. I feel like a lot of you are going to have to go through this first, where you're going to kind of want to just isolate a little bit and just kind of deal with these emotions. You're going to be doing a lot of healing work, um, and it's a good thing, but you're, you're clearing space. You know, you're, you're making this opening for better people to come in, so it's, it's really good. Um, what's... Kind of what, regarding romantic relationships, what do what do the Sagittarius need to know? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, so you might be working through um, commitment issues for one thing. You might be. Um, I don't know why I keep getting that. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And I feel like this is about what I said, too. This is um, better people coming in. You know, maybe people in, the, in your past have not been, they haven't been loyal. They haven't been committed to you. And you're going to start meeting people who are committed to you, whether it's friends, lovers, people that feel like family. You're just, you're going to, you're going to start meeting better people and stay optimistic, you know, have faith. This is, um talking to your spirit guides, making offerings to them as well, um, just staying positive, you know, optimistic, keep an open mind. For some of you, I feel, this is kind of the energy I was getting where you have these subconscious patterns where you're attracted to a certain type of person. And so, and I, I don't know why I'm channeling that for most fire signs. Um, I'm an Aries and Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, you know, it's, it's all different energy. You guys are all going about it differently, but, but there's this energy of, of cutting out toxic people and, um, and being open-minded to, to new, better people. And, and this is what you, again, this is what we what you need to do for um, friendships and romantic relationships. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this could be someone who is just not your usual type. Maybe they were more honest or forward than you're used to. Maybe they were weird or just something strange about them that you weren't used to. Maybe they were... Um, Maybe they resonated with you on a soul level, on a heart level, and it scared you because you're so used to these like mental, these mind-based relationships. You're so used to to um, keeping things lighter, I guess. And this was like a real love connection, and it scared you. Or it could be, um, it's just saying that you have a usual type, and and they're not. Maybe that your usual type is not so healthy for you, and you've got to rewrite those patterns and and keep an open mind and. Um, you know, maybe, maybe notice people around you that have loved you and supported you that you didn't notice before. Maybe um, friendships too. Maybe you have people around you that want to be friends with you, and you just kind of, you know, they weren't they weren't your usual type of group. You know, they weren't you weren't used to them. You know, th this energy is really about stepping out of your comfort zone and meeting healthier, better people and opening yourself up to to what feels right on a heart level and on a soul level. And so, you know, your soulmate, your soulmates, your you know. They're, they might differ from your usual type and your expectations. You know, you have to be open-minded. You've got to keep an open heart. You have to um, to break the cycle that you've been in. 
Let your friends help you. Ask for and help and accept support from others. You know, this is again making new friends, healthier friends, and, and letting them support you, letting your friends guide you out of this toxic energy. Um, trusting yourself and, and having heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings for, for each other. Um, whether this is someone that you need to have closure with, or this could be someone that you need to have closure with, because we got that in the in the beginning of the read where it's, it might be someone that you need to. Um, to talk to maybe you need you know maybe you're afraid to but maybe you need some answers and you need that energy to move on or maybe you want to work things out with this person um or maybe there's someone that you want to ask out or someone that you've noticed that you that you um you know you're scared to put yourself out there and it's saying go ahead you know have the heart to heart conversations you need to um whether you get closure or whether you get a new start with this person you you need to um to honestly discuss your feelings with each other you you need to be honest about who you f what, about who you are. You need to be honest about what you feel. I was gonna say who you feel, which kind of makes sense. Who do you feel like? What do you who do you on a soul level on a heart level? Who do you feel? Who resonates with you? Who feels good to you? You know, um, synchronicity, <laughs> heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings for each other. Start start being open. Start start um, verbalizing. Um, your heart, you know, finances and career are also an issue in your love life. Maybe you're trying to get finances and career sorted out. Um, but again, you do need to balance. Like, yes, you, I mean, yes, you're going to focus on that a lot right now, but you do need to balance. You do need to have love in your life too. Um, and trust, you know, the situation is calling for you to have faith. We got let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Don't try to predict everything. Again, you're stepping out of your comfort zone. So expect the energy might not be what you're used to. You know, you know, don't try to control or overanalyze everything. Try to try to just relax. Try to um, you need new energy. You need new friends. You need new love. You need just new energy in your life. And, and you're getting that now. It's it's really good. Um, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Please like subscribe, um, share my videos out. I'm a new reader on YouTube, so I'm still promoting myself. And if you want a reading, or if you want spell work done or dream interpretation or anything of that nature, um, some of my prices are listed below. You can also email me for prices or if you have any questions. All right, thank you guys. Have a good day.